Well, hey everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood pastor, Nate. Just coming in and checking in with you as I have been doing on a fairly regular basis during this time. And wanted to encourage everyone that is watching that as you are watching this video, let us know you where you're watching from because we like to see how far we're getting this message out and who we're reaching. So yeah, put your name where you're listening from so we can give you shout outs in future videos and yeah we're glad that you're able to join us but something that's been on my heart today so today has been a pretty long and somewhat stressful day but i've still been able to find moments of joy in them and even though it's kind of gloomy out and cold uh, i've realized that there's so much good that can come out of finding joy in moments of gloominess and cold and that's just good for your soul and good for your own emotional and mental health uh, one of the, my colleagues here in town they put out a statement talking about the dangers of mental health especially among pastors and clergy that we are seeing a lot of people in the ministry world that are suffering from anxiety and depression, even to the point of, unfortunately, losing their life to it. And I don't wish that upon anybody. Anxiety and depression, and they can creep up so easily in times when we are especially alone and isolated. And so I wanna know, how are you finding times of joy during these times? Because that is so important. And even as we think about our mental health, I want you to be able to find times to laugh and to enjoy yourself. Something that I do from, for me is that I spend time with my daughter. I did that a little bit today, that her and I just sat on the floor and played games and we tickled each other and just were rolling around laughing with one another. And it was so good for my soul to be able to laugh with my daughter today because it just helped all the concerns and joys of the day melt away and i started thinking as i was doing this with my daughter and as i've been finding other ways to just fuel myself in joy it's made me think of proverbs 17 where it says this a joyful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones you know, as we've been in isolation for a while, many of us, we are getting a crushed spirit and it's not good for us. It has a huge effect on us, not just emotionally, but also physically, that it can dry us up. It can drain us of energy. But as we laugh, our joyful heart, it, it, is, it is good medicine. So what can we do for that? Well... I, I want to encourage you to, if you can, spend time with your family, laugh with them, do something crazy, have a family game night. If you're not living with family, give them a call, do a Zoom meeting online so that you can share stories and laugh with one another. I know that when my family did that, we did that with my extended family on my mom's side and we all just got on a Zoom meeting and there was a lot of laughter that happened in that. And it's... It's what we need during these times. So find a way that you can just take a break from just being in your own head. Take a break from experiencing emotionally and eternally it being cold and being sorrowful inside. And fight it with joy and laughter. Because let me tell you, when you laugh just in general, it's good for you. But when you laugh in the spirit it really has a dramatic effect. One of my teachers in seminary, he did what he called, he would get his Holy Spirit giggles sometimes. And if you're watching, uh, if you're watching Joe, uh, I can do your Holy Spirit giggle so well because I'm, I'm reminded of it all the time that you just would just be sitting there going, <laughs> and you would tell your, jokes with Oli and Lena and it was just amazing to see you do that or skip in the spirit 
you know, I'm talking to Joe right now, but I'm also talking to you guys. Take the opportunity to laugh in the spirit, to skip around your house, do something crazy. And if you do it with God, it's going to be that much better for you. So yeah, go and take some time to laugh today. So you can just let all your concerns, all your worries melt away and that you can just find happiness. So that's what I've been thinking about and I want to leave you with today. But before I close, let's do our, uh, our Daily Bread Promise Box and see what we are praying about. All right. So today we are praying about Psalm 8411. The Lord will give grace and glory. So as we are finding time to laugh with God in the spirit, uh, as we spend time with him and let, let us experience his joy, that he's also going to give us grace and glory. You know, and that's something that we also need as we're fighting against anxiety or depression or just feeling alone, that we need his grace so that we can feel empowered to feel joy. Sometimes we might feel bad about it, but by God's grace, he can give us the joy of the Holy Spirit, give us that, that laughter that we need so we can enter in the glory that he has in store for us. So let's pray about that. Well, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pray for myself and my brothers and sisters who are watching this, that especially in this time, no matter what we're going through, and especially if it's hard and that we're going through things of feeling depressed or anxiety or just feeling down because we're in isolation. Lord, I pray that we can take a break from all that and just turn to laughter and joy in you. That we can turn to laughter and joy in, with family. So that as we do this, you, you can give us the grace to move out of ourselves that we can experience your glory in everything that's going on in and around our lives. So Lord, just walk with us, give us strength, give us joy, and give us laughter. All this I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me again today. And I uh, want to encourage you to like and subscribe this video if you're watching it on YouTube so that you can be notified when we're putting up other videos. But for now, this is your friendly neighborhood, Pastor Nate, and I'm out.